All right, the purpose of this demonstration is to walk you through a route optimization module that I created, uh, which is, is designed to inform your delivery drivers on what orders it makes sense to deliver first, second, third, so on and so forth. And the logic behind the program uh, works as follows. So if there are fewer than eight stops, uh, the matrix, uh, will compute every possible combination of order. And it is in order to assess the total driving distance in miles per each set of delivery orders. And it will choose the particular combination that has the least amount of miles. Uh, for example, if you have a, a delivery A at 39, which is 39 miles from your warehouse, delivery B, which is 15 miles from your warehouse, it is going to compare total distances of right from warehouse to location A to location B to warehouse versus your warehouse to location B to location A back to your warehouse. And it's going to pick the sequence with the shortest trip. Pretty straightforward. Um, the reason why this approach works for less than eight uh, orders in any given route is, uh, is due to performance reasons. So for example, if you have greater than eight uh, deliveries, uh, it's always going to choose the closest stop. So it's going to look from your warehouse to whatever is the closest delivery. And then from that particular location, you know, stop one, what is the next closest delivery, so on and so forth until you end up uh, completing all of your deliveries and then you go back to your warehouse. Um, of course, we could play with the logic, but this is the way that it's been built as a version one. The reason why I took the approach of eight is uh, it's pretty funny, actually. Um, it has to do with performance, as I mentioned. If you think about, you know, how factorials work, you know, if you have seven stops, you know, how many different ways can you arrange seven different pieces on a board? And the answer is is an astronomical number. And of course, when it comes to, you know, working in an enterprise software, you don't want to wait for your program to compute, you know, in the case of nine stops, 362,880 different possible combinations before selecting the right one. So in order to, in order to uh, work around that, I, I, I performed a different logic um, in the event that the total number of deliveries are, are greater than eight. Uh, so let's take a look at how this works. Uh, so when you go into your inventory application and you look at your deliveries, you'll see um, we, right everything is working uh, in a time schedule. So I'm always batching inventories based on the day that they're to be delivered. Uh, just again, as a very simple example, we could expand on this and we could batch according to driver, batch according to truck. But in this case, I just have well, I'm running a shop with one driver. You know, I just want to know for today, what do I have to work on? Here I can see my delivery city. Uh, here I can see the uh, the optimized sequence. So I should go with this one first, this one second. Here I can see the total distance from the warehouse. Each location is computed in real time. Again, that's the distance from my warehouse, which when you go to your warehouse uh, view, you can click into the address and you can define the address here. And of course, when you go to your contacts, if you click into any one contact, you'll see their address here. And when we go to see the total route, it's going to compute if I go from warehouse to Coesville to Buffalo back to warehouse, the total driving distance is 65.8 miles. And that is a shorter distance than were I to go from warehouse to Buffalo to Colesville to warehouse. So I can always rely on my my Google integration in order to optimize the sequence of deliveries for me. So let's throw something in here. Let's go with contact one. Contact one's located in uh, Jamestown, New York. And when I go back to my delivery, let's add a product, a demand. And when I mark to do, you'll see this route optimize button or optimize route button appear. And when I execute it, you will see the delivery routes have been successfully optimized and I can go back here. And when I reroute, 
I can see the new total driving distance is 202.37 miles. Why? Because Jamestown came into the picture, which is 81.9 miles away from my warehouse. And so now the, the recommended approach is to go from to Buffalo to Jamestown to and hit Coesville on the way home, then go back to the warehouse in order to, uh, and if, if I do that, I will drive a total of 202.37 miles uh, round trip. So um, last thing I want to talk about is, again, just showing you what's happening here in the logs, right? It's uh, when I click on optimize, it's right. It's checking and validating all of my addresses, right? I have my address for Chapel Woods, which is my warehouse. I have my address for Grammy. I have my address for Contact One here, and of course John Doe. And once it validates those addresses, it then passes those addresses to Google for optimization. And after that, it's going to build the matrix uh, essentially. And once it does actually define the matrix. Then it's going to uh, go ahead and say, all right, we're optimizing for three deliveries. We found a route that is 202.37. And here is the sequence, right, that you should assign to each delivery in order to achieve this lowest, uh, the lowest possible um, number of miles uh, round trip in order to complete these, this route. So pretty cool. Um, it's it's obviously a version one. It just goes to show, you know, this was built in a night. It goes to show how flexible and how incredibly powerful, you know, Odoo is in terms of its open API, how easy the framework is to work with, and how you can essentially, you know, build anything you want on top of your, your business data in order to create new and exciting efficiencies. Um, great. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, you can uh, find my email address in, in the description of the video, uh, as well as uh, feel, you know, make sure you follow me. I'm, I'm constantly uh, pushing new content, uh, at least on a weekly basis these days. So thanks so much. Have a great day.